We want to get out to Ian. The video taken at Better Piggies Rescue here in Phoenix. There is a place so far it's received over a million views. So Ian is live to talk about that, plus a special fundraiser that they are doing for Valentine's Day. What's up, Ian? It's hard to set. Good this morning, up Scott. The uh, video, it's probably but... well here. Let me imitate. <laughs> that was the noise. It was actually it was actually far worse than that. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, we got I the video. Here, let's video. take a look. Here it is. Let's try this. <laughs> that sounds like he's getting his teeth pulled or something. Ian, what is going on? I was actually kind of close. <laughs> yeah, you were. So, yeah. So that's P. Here she is. This is P. She was just getting her nails trimmed. Of course, people thought, oh my gosh, you're hurting that poor pig. No, that's the exact opposite of what they do here. They try to help out these pigs. Dr. Burroughs, you help out with this wonderful organization. Tell me what was going on in that video that is just uh, flying around the globe in its popularity. Yeah, what we were doing with her and what we do with a lot of pigs is we have to flip them. It's the safest way to trim their feet and they need feet trims usually about every six months. If they don't get them, their feet get long, their toes get long, and that subsequently causes some pain and discomfort for them. Uh, P wasn't a fan. She was not a fan. <laughs> she was a little dramatic. We always joke that um, pigs getting their feet trimmed are kind of like kids getting their first haircut. They don't yeah. know what's going on. They're not a fan until once we get into it. Usually they calm down. Are not you, P didn't. Though. Are you surprised how popular the video uh, has become? I am. We do it a lot. Um, so it was entertaining to see what people's thoughts are on uh, pigs getting their feet trimmed, yeah. Uh, that's awesome, you guys are great here. I'm gonna head over and talk to Danielle. Right. She is with Better Piggies Rescue. There's about a hundred or maybe more uh, pigs here. Now I know a lot of people go, what is a pig rescue? Yeah. Uh, people will get pigs as a pet, uh, sometimes like puppies, and they're in over their heads, and they sometimes leave pigs in the street. Yeah, a lot of people get pigs, um, especially mini pigs, thinking they're going to stay mini. They're going to stay only 25 pounds, and unfortunately, um, potbelly pigs can range anywhere from 75 to 300 pounds. Um, the term mini pig means a pig that weighs less than a farm hog, and a farm hog can weigh up to 1,000 pounds. So you have a very um, <laughs> wide uh, weight. Of yeah, that, that might not do right too there. well in a, a one-bedroom apartment. Exactly, uh, exactly. You guys uh, raise money, and you have a fundraiser coming up we do. Uh, to help bring awareness and try to help out these uh, adorable little animals. Yeah, we do. We have um, some amazing fundraisers right now. We're doing our Give a Pig a Kiss Valentine's Day fundraiser. <laughs> so you can buy a kiss um, cookie for a pig. You can go to our website, betterpiggiesrescue.org buy a, a kiss cookie for a pig, and then get entered into um, a raffle for our snout paintings, which are painted by the pigs, and they are beautiful snout paintings. Oh, okay, um, let's take a quick look at yeah, these. I'll bring those over to uh, Mike Smith, photojournalist. And there you go, here they are. Uh, the website one more time. Uh, it's betterpiggiesrescue.org. Betterpiggiesrescue.org, and uh, who thought a video would be viewed so many times? and actually helps bring awareness. So there you go, Scott, more than you thought you'd ever learn about pigs and how you can help them. Yeah, do you Arizona. want to imitate her one more time? All right, here, let me take the mask off to really get into it. <laughs> now you're getting serious. <laughs> uh, I think that'll put you on a certain no, website one more time. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> See it. All right, Ian, thank you.